sorry kara, sorry kara, sorry kara. I cracked myself up. Hello people of the internet, it's Amanda and oh my god, what is left for me to say after that final episode? <laughs> okay, so today I'm here to talk about the last episode of Hana no Chihare. I have talked about the previous episodes, so the first one, episode 1 to 8 collectively, and then episode 9, 10, and now 11. And <laughs> Again, um, as I've mentioned in my past videos, I am no expert in this whole recapping thing. I just absolutely adored the show. That's the reason for me in making these recap videos. But basically, you get the idea. So, again, please don't expect me to be such an expert at chronology or my translations or anything of the sort. Let's just forget about that. Um, I'm just mainly gonna sit down here and talk about my feelings and probably some of the parts that I really really wanted to highlight in this episode. I mentioned in my previous videos, if you haven't seen the episode yet, um, if you haven't read the manga, if you're the type of person who don't want to be spoiled, this isn't the video for you because I spout out spoilers like crazy. Um, and so now if you've seen the title then um, yes I am going to talk about the episode plus my predictions for a possible season 2 or a movie or something like that. I have read the manga so I'll probably be giving away spoilers for that as well. So if you don't want that please leave the video right now. But then if you're in it for the ride, if you want to know what happens, if you're so confused about the entire Sorekara thing <laughs> then please keep on watching <laughs> now okay so I have had a lot of thoughts about episode 10 um, I mentioned there that Oro wasn't exactly my favorite character after that episode but then after making that video and like waiting for this final episode it sort of got me thinking that yes I have reiterated for a fact that her relationship with Denma in my opinion at least is sort of a bit like I need you you need me sort of thing they are childhood friends they are each other's first love so it was inevitable for her to feel like and she was there during the worst time of his life when his mother died so it was sort of inevitable for her to think that she should be there for him um, all the time most of the time and it was just so um, and also that her family who she cares for so much and her character who is just someone who thinks of others first before herself um, it's sort of like normal for her to consider that as well into coming to terms with her relationship with Denma so okay Oto may not be my favorite character in episode 10 but then after thinking about it a while then okay fine I forgive her for that <laughs> but anyways Throughout the entire season, actually, we have seen these characters have multiple dimensions to them. You know, they're not just someone who's really strong and really rich or someone who's just really poor and then just thriving for her life. Basically, here we have characters that are sort of like growing also. Um, and even if they do have their similar tropes compared to Hanayori Dango, they also have their differences in a way that you know, their own characters are not just um, copies of or just like very, very similar tropes of from Hana Dan. Now, again, we left off with that sort of like cliffhanger at the end of episode 10 where Kagoragi hurt his hand. And so um, the thing is, it was sort of just it, like to put us on edge because as we've seen from the start of this episode basically everybody was just doing up doing about with their own business Haruto was getting his hand um, iced <laughs> and then um, Oto was with Tenma and sort of things like that and we've also seen that Riesan who is um, Tenma's stepmom were already sort of like giving them um, ideas or plans as to how to go about with the edit with the wedding um, at the end of the competition and then we see there that Otto was just being so cooperative she was just saying that okay the venue looks amazing and stuff like that but we can clearly see that there's gonna be a tip of the edge 
um, in the episode given that we've, we've been getting all these sort of like hints throughout um, that you know they're really pushing for the whole Ototenma relationship um, now after that we are met with uh, a scene <laughs> where Haruto <laughs> It was kind of heartwarming because um, for the past couple of episodes, we haven't been really seeing most of Otto and Haruto's dynamic in a romantic sort of sense because we have seen them develop this sort of friendship that um, Chukushi and Chukasa never really got into. You know, they were this sort of like, um, I hate you, but I love you sort of couple. Um, their, their their relationship developed in such a romantic way almost immediately from enemies to friends um, which sort of like opened doors for that certain trope in most of the dramas that we watch now but here we see the two leads develop some sort of like um, a friendship where they they get each other in such a way that um, it was such a progression in a way that a lot of people really rooted for Tenma as the rom romantic partner material, which is sort of understandable, making this drama a bit hard as to who you would really want to side on for each of, of the two leads. Um, now, again, we're um, going back to my point, we, we see this a bit like funny and heartwarming scene where Haruto is just image um, training as he puts it um, that he was winning the competition he was cheering for himself he was being his goofy funny silly self that i feel like i have missed for the past couple of episodes because everything has just been a, like too serious in a while and so it was just qu quite funny to see that scene i was laughing so hard when i watched it um, oh, and just to mention, I watched it li like live streaming as it was airing on TBS just so I wouldn't miss out on or read some spoilers while I was watching it. So it was better to watch it live. Anyways, I was just so laughing at what was going on, especially since I know that um, Otto just entered the room and was watching him the entire time. And when he was like, Kaguragi Haruto, then when he saw that Otto was there, <laughs> I was just so amused at the face that he did when he saw um, her um, watching him doing all those silly things. Um, and then um, Cinderella Girl, the, the song that has been stuck in my head for the past three months, ever since I started watching this, started to play. And it just made the entire thing super amusing. Um, and one cute scene also that i wanted to point out from that is haruto asked like how long have you been there and otto was like since pa 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 <laughs> it was just so cute um but then on a, a more serious and lighter note um otto did tell him very very much straightforward in a way that she was gonna root for tenma i do feel like in episode 10 they never really had that sort of conversation so it was just more of like okay i'm here on momonazana side i am supporting my fiance whereas in this we finally got this conversation between the two of them that otto was making her side clear but then at the same time it was more of like she was wishing him luck by return by lending him washington the lucky pig so haruto was like are you returning this to me and then otto's like no you were the one who told me that this is lucky that he is um, very very helpful so here you go um and this sort of like exchange of this of Washington between the two of them has always been symbolic of a fact as to where the relationship is at. So at first, when Otto returned Washington, they were in a really bad state when Otto when Haruto confessed to, to her. And then when he returned it back to her, they were in this friendship state. And now giving it back to her, it was more of like, okay, I'm supporting Tenma, but it's not like our relationship as friends is nothing to me. Here's some luck because you do need it and i sort of love that heartwarming scene in a way because um even if it still pains me of the fact that otto has been really upfront about her support with denma in this one i do see that at least um 
there's a bit of like clarity there as compared to what happened in episode 10. Um, and then after that, we see, we finally see that sort of like confrontation thing between um, like uh, Konoe and then the thugs that he hired and um, Otto and Haruto seeing what was going on. And um, <laughs> the funny thing was, I didn't really expect the whole, because that didn't exactly happen in the manga. What happened was I do think Kono, Kono-san filmed Konoe while he was sort of like threatening Otto outside of, of their workplace. Um, and so sh she sent her the video and then as timely as ever, Tenma was there to hear it. But then here it was more fun in a way because um, I was really, really expecting for Haruto to like, um, I don't know, like do a flying kick and fail or something but this time being a silly self he used his butt to kick off the bad guys it was super funny and amusing to me which um sorry his excuse was that his hand was hurt so he couldn't do anything about it he just used his freaking butt um it was a funny scene that was overturned with the events that Tenma finally found out that indeed it was Konoe who was behind all those crazy ass things that had been going in Etoku, even attacking Otto and sort of like all of those things combined. And so again, even in the manga, it was the one that contributed to the fact as to why Tenma was out of his concentration during the archery competition. Now, I, I'm not sure if I watch it correctly, but I do think that Haruto even Again, please don't hold me on some of the stuff that I'm saying unless I seem so certain of it. Um, but then I do feel like, you know, Haruto never really wanted to compete with Denma with knowing his mental state at the time. He didn't want to put him in that sort of disadvantage. But then Denma was like, oh, nope, let's, let's, let's do this. So they went on with the competition. It was just so... Um, and throughout while watching it because i haven't because it was live streaming as i was watching it i was really from that point on i was really nervous as to how the series is going to go um because even if i know the events that will happen in the manga i was unsure as to how these series of events would lead to a certain ending that i was expecting okay so moving um going back to that um of course, um, Haruto shot a couple of times and he, um, uh, he hit the target multiple times and Tenma was just out of his loop. So it was just, you can see in his face that he was really disappointed and he was really confused as well as to why he was performing in, in that particular way. But we see basically everyone after Haruto hit that last target, everyone, even his friends in C5, they were really, really happy for him also most of the heartwarming moments that they've had um during like the initial parts of the episode where you know they were just talking about because we know this stuff now so they sort of have all those like friendship moments happening there and it was sort of nice because even kaito got emotional when they were talking about you know doing this entire thing um Sugimaru was there. He was even quoting himself, which was super um, funny because he has been quoting other people throughout the um, throughout the series. And then of course, Iri is just adorable as ever. And then we also have Isa, who was really, really just emotional by the time that Haruto hit that target. So it was not just Haruto's hard work. Um, so it was understandable that all of them were together on that. And it was so refreshing also to see that Eitoko's side has been fully um complete in a way because before they were so overwhelmed with the momonozono crowd but then because of the recent like successes in a way um they have um shown support for haruto so it was really like a nice touch for that second bout of the competition um but then obviously we can clearly see that um tenma wasn't in his best shape so Otto being Otto she decided to you know help him out or to reconcile things with him in Konoe um, because it was just like clearly it was some sort of like Konoe is twisted in a way but we do know that he owes his life to Tenma he has sort of like this 
um, it, it, what he did were in what the things that he did were inexcusable, but also in a way, um, it was some sort of like a loyalty sort of in a twisted kind of way. So, um, and to to be honest, like he seems to be the only friend that Tenma has except for Otto and Otto is basically his childhood friend and fiance so Tenma didn't really have a lot of friends Konoe just seemed to be the only one so a reconciliation in that part is sort of like a bit of necessary in terms of the turn of the things also to get Tenma to release um, whatever it is that he's been carrying because obviously he was hurt about what happened and so they resolved that entire thing and now we enter the the third bout where Harato is practicing for Kendo. And then here's 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 here here's the thing. I it was such a heartbreaking thing for me because um again in episode 10 Everybody seems to be annoyed at the fact that, you know, Megarin said she was going to give up by episode 9 and then by episode 10, it was, seems like she didn't want to give up. But then for episode 11, the really heartbreaking thing was that when she brought him the bento and obviously um, we, we have this stir fry theme going on. So she did her very own version of a rainbow <laughs> stir fry sort of thing and then she presented it to Haruto, but it was sort of like her goodbye. Um, she said that, okay, I, um, Nishidome Megumi, will, um, am gonna support you full heartedly tomorrow, but this is also me letting you go or breaking up with you or something like that. I do feel like that was what she said during that time, during that scene. And you can clearly see that Haruto was really apologetic. I mean, Throughout this season, I, I would have hated Haruto with all the efforts that Megurin has been doing if he has been cold-hearted as he has a bit in the manga. Like, he never really acknowledged much of her feelings in the manga. With this, we really see, like, his character in a way of appreciating people and knowing um, how to acknowledge people's efforts for you mainly because I think it has been established enough that he wasn't re he being recognized by the, by his dad so it would just kind of be sad if he's like that to others as well so here we see that you know Megrin said her goodbye she was crying so hard and I feel really really bad for her but then we see that it was some sort of like a symbolism in a way with Haruto just eating everything that she cooked up for him for the last time, I think, um, as some sort of like that um, closure between the two of them. It was him acknowledging that, okay, we have both really tried so hard for a relationship. It just didn't work out. Obviously, it has been established that Megurin isn't exactly that good at cooking. But for this time, he finished the entire thing. So it was more of like, okay, thank you. Um, and yeah, I feel like it was such a nice scene to put closure between their relationship, you know? Um, and then again, we move to the next part where um, the three girls, Otto, Airi, and Megarin, go to Kono-san's apartment. And it was super unexpected in a way that um, as they were so supposedly going to celebrate, <laughs> Um, Mitan just rushed over and proposes to Kono-san. Now apparently I just found out that the actress who was playing Kono-san also got engaged in real life so she was about to get married so it was just super cool that nice touch sort of like congratulate her in a way and to sort of like bring back Mitan because he's he's one of those one-time characters that I really really enjoyed and really really loved in a way so it was just kind of cute how they did that and also how surprised he was that Megarin was there celebrating-ish with them. And again, Takoyaki has become this sort of like um, these girls' um, bonding food. So a recurring theme is just really, really nice. And it also became this heartwarming moment where Airi and Megarin sort of like reconciled their feelings for Harato finally. Um, and both sort of like promising that they would like move forward with their feelings and 
I don't know, like, um, Megrin even gave this sort of like blessing to Otto that, you know, just it's okay. You know, they, they all have been trying to tell her that it's okay. Just be true to your feelings in a way. But then obviously we do know that Otto is also considering a lot of factors, not just her relationship with Denma, but also her promise to his mother, um, their family and sort of those things that she couldn't truly be honest with her feelings. Um, so it was just more of like closing all those loose ends with all these different feelings to make way for just Otto being honest with her own. So um, I do think that lovely touch at the end is sort of like also cute because we haven't really seen the girls together also for the past couple of episodes. So it was nice to have that sort of like reunion as well. Um, which leads us again to another series of crazy ass events, which is the kendo part of the competition. Um, it was just really, really short in a way. And since I've read the manga, I do know where it was gonna go. It was just sort of like funny how they did that. Um, and oh, also, before I start with the kendo thing, I just forgot. There was this part where... Um, Kaito was explaining that because Haruto's hand was injured, it was the reason why he also got like a firmer, not really firmer, but a more steady-ish grip to the bow of the arrow. Um, because before, I think he was really like tense, he really was trying to tug on the string too hard or something like that. There was sort of like a technicality um, explanation for the arrow scene. I do feel like they made it so that um, it wouldn't just seem like everything was out of luck that it was really due to the fact that because of his hurt hand he sort of did have an edge as to pulling um, pulling the bowstring to make it more stable or something like that so I do like that in a way they didn't just want it to be based on just Haruto's luck because that would be so unfair to Tenma if like the he, the, the gods of good luck is just blessing um, Haruto in this event because um, in the kendo competition it was really just luck as well like he was just thinking about how much he loves Otto how much he wants to fight for her and stuff like that and then he sort of like had just trips on his um, kendo attire and then just trips and then hits Tenma and then basically he won so um, I do like that in the second competition, it's sort of like they made it seem like, okay, well, he still had a, uh, a fighting chance because of that technical thing that he sort of got right because of his injured hand. And then this one is just pure luck. Um, but then, so basically, there's that for the competition. Like Haruto won. It was sort of like fair and square. I do think that they did that in a way because in the manga, Haruto won by default. I do feel like, you know, Tenma never... If I remember correctly, Tenma didn't really attend the last bout of the competition. And that's why Haruto won by default. So at least here, they still battled it out. Like, he still won fair and square-ish, I think, even if it's just lucky. Um, so just putting that over there, because that's it, everything for the competition. And um, before that... We saw that Haruto went to Otto and it was I was expecting this because in the manga they did the competition in Kyoto. Um, but here I feel like it has much more weight because Ibisu Garden Place has been a big thing, much more so like a bigger thing here in Hana no Chihare as compared to Hanadan because they have been here like Otto and Haruto had have like more heartfelt moments here whereas in Hanadan it just became this iconic place for like meeting places where this for Hananochi it has become this place where they had conversations important like turning points in their character and so on and stuff like that so I do feel like it was very important also why they did the whole I'll wait for you in the Bisu Garden place thing um, kind of important um, it did happen in the manga. Haruto did ask Otto uh, um, to meet him 
at a certain meeting place in the manga it was a bridge in in here it was a beast garden place um to meet him and otto was like i'm not gonna go i already told you that you know i'm with denma stuff but then harato was like i don't care anymore i just have to be true to my feelings so it's more of like go not go i'm also doing this for me and um I don't know like throughout that I was just so nervous as to what was gonna happen but um as we've seen you know Tenma when he asked for the vegetable stir fry I was already shitting my pants like okay this is a goodbye that okay I didn't ask for this emotional moment we do know that uh, at least I know in the manga that they are gonna break off the engagement and basically everything else after the competition but I did not ask for an emotional moment with steer fry that he didn't get to eat the last time because he I I just Otto was like we can see that she was really um overly excited as well in a way that you know when you're trying to prevent yourself from feeling sad or feeling confused and you just act all ha happy it just seemed like that when at the end of the competition she came rushing in into the dressing room or waiting area to Tenma and she was like okay so um let's go blah 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 and Tenma was already firm with this decision that um you know uh it's quite obvious as to where this is going like it was he knew it from the start that there is something that's been going on between like the two it was just that he was just so afraid to acknowledge it for himself as well and it was that moment on when he realized that okay i i uh, i lost fair and square i also didn't believe her when in fact like everything that she told me at the time was true so it was more of like piling all these things and having that last moment with her and thinking um thinking her of of trying to be with him but he it was more of like and he keeps on thanking her which is kind of sad and you can really see um taishi's acting in that scene was just perfection like you can clearly see the sadness in his eyes but also that it was sincere and genuine as to how he was really thankful but this time he wanted otto to be honest to um herself that it was clear as day that she had feelings for Harato and Tenma clearly saw that but he was also afraid to acknowledge it himself but now it was more of like as a way to thank her he he wanted to stop everything and he wanted to you know he wanted he he wishes for her happiness and um that was heartbreaking for me because even then Otto was tr still trying hard to like convince him that no that's not true that's not true um but we also see her struggle in a way that you know when she was crying she told her that he was one of the most important people in his life but then when she was about to say i i feel like she was trying to say that i do love you or i do like you it was just it, it was just not coming out and tenma was like kokata so he sort of he said that he understands what it is that's going on so um it was just super heartbreaking in a way but and even that goodbye scene where he was just pushing her to go um it was just so sad for me um that scene was brilliant it was just a great sort of closure for the two of them, them as well and knowing how this season's episode ended i do feel like because of those momentarily moments that team tenma people are really, really like see we told you um because they they sort of had that most i think that was the monumental part of 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 the episode there the closure between tenma and otto um and can i just say can i just point out Okay. That scene where C5 was there and Iri was the one who approached Tenma and we had that scene between Imada Mio and Nagawa Taishi and they were just so adorable. I I have seen a lot of people on Twitter 
who, who, who started shipping them just because of that 15 second interaction. I'm one of those people. They were just so adorable on screen. But basically, it was really, really cute because one, I called Tenma cool. And she also called him senpai. It was more of like encouraging him to, you know what, you're you're always being cool. Um, you know, just it was more of like I feel like it was more of an encouragement for him to also move forward in a way because this episode has been about moving forward. And it was just kind of cute to see because if okay, again, spoilers from the manga. If you haven't read it yet, again, I'm sorry about this. I, haven't, I, I will spout out some deets about the manga later, but um, Airi will sort of like fall in love with Denma in the second half of the manga after this bout. So I do feel like if they are opening for season two, um, they wanted to put a little bit of foundation for that. Because in the manga, it sort of just happened-ish. But for this, I do feel like they wanted to show us that there's a a bit of connection there in the beginning um, for them to develop it later on if they're gonna have a season two so there's that um, and there's also this part that if anyone in the comments who even bothered to watch my video <laughs> um, can explain this to me there's this scene where Otto's dad um, returned from his overseas trip slash work um, and there was a scene there that I didn't really quite get what was going on. There was also this scene with Ryesan. So if you can explain to me that part, I would <coughs> really, really be... <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry about that. It's like 7 a.m.-ish. I just literally just woke up, so I'm making this video with a hoarse voice. But anyways, um, yeah, if anyone out there could explain to me what was going on in that part, I would really, really appreciate it because I, I had this impression that, I don't know, they were just talking about the kids, but I couldn't really pinpoint like what was happening. So please tell me down in the comments below if you do know. Let's move on to that Sorekara part. So again, we have um, Otto here running to a Bisu Garden place. Haruto was there waiting for her at the Bisu Garden place with Washington and a train. So obviously this is gonna be the Saturn necklace that we all have been waiting for. Um, but basically it was just the dynamics of them thinking about each other or imagining that hey okay we're finally going to talk about our feelings. We're finally going to admit to each other that we do love each other. It was that parallel thinking that has been happening throughout the entire series. Um, and so we have these two people just thinking about, like ver being very excited about being really honest about their feelings. And <laughs> I was so mad that they did that imagination scene with now um, Haruto was the one singing. I wasn't really, I'm not mad mad, okay? I was just so, I was just like, what? What is going on? And then they gave us that, like, almost kiss. Apparently, it was a Johnny's thing, which is um, Hirano Sho's agency. And also, the fact that they couldn't have social media. That's why he wasn't allowed to be included in all those Instagram photos i was like johnny's what the heck it has been like 10 years since some of my favorite j idols have been at the top of their careers and now here's a new generation and you still haven't changed i'm just so frustrated at that but anyways um i do feel like it's because of that that they couldn't do a full-on kiss scene and to be fair like Haruto and Otto still hasn't kissed in the manga at all, even in the most recent chapter. Tenma, Tenma had that point. Okay, so let's give that to Team Tenma. I'm sorry, but Team Haruto still hasn't happened in the manga. So, couldn't happen in the series either. But it was just kind of like... To be fair, the ending was much more pleasant than what I had in mind. Because again, um, in the manga, Tenma got stabbed as he was sort of like ending his engagement with Otto. While they were talking about it, they were ganged up by a bunch of thugs and 
he he got stabbed basically and that's the reason why Otto wasn't able to go to the meeting place with Haruto however for this one she was on the way to meet him he she's almost there that that was when she was crossing the road that was Omotesando I think which is just a couple more blocks away from a Bisu garden place if I remember my Tokyo right but um, yeah I mean she was almost there um, so sorekara which basically means and then or it can also mean after that um, the set they were clearly saying that I will tell him her that I love her and then or it can be translated to after that and the reason why they keep on repeating that is because to be fair I was expecting for a heartbreaking ending for this season I was expecting that it was gonna end with Haruto just crying in the rain or something that Otto didn't come so I was really expecting for that heartbreaking ending and to be fair we really got a really nice ending in this one that it made it seem like they're about to meet meet each other but I do feel like if they're there they are gonna do a season two it is inevitable it is inevitable for them to end it like that I mean sure we could have had a scene an alternate scene where they are like Haruto would turn and he would see Otto and they would have this sort of like parallel thing where they're just looking at each other while saying sorry kara for like a hundred million times but I do feel like they do have to end it with just Otto and Haruto just waiting in the Bisu garden place um, and with after that being said or and then being said a million times to establish that there is going to be a season two sort of and to say that you know it isn't exactly happen it isn't exactly a happy ending now okay so um we did see tenma walking around shibuya crossing with that you know just happy sad sort of look on his face I do feel like okay so here are my predictions for the next season if they are going to do a next season or a movie which I do feel like is inevitable at this point considering that they did that for Hannah Dan and a lot of people I do feel like really do care about this series a lot um, I do get why a lot of people are angry but for manga readers I do feel like it is sort of expected for us that they're not really gonna meet at the ending as, as I mentioned, I am expecting a much worse ending than what happened in the series. I was really expecting it to end on an angsty note. Um, but then, yeah. Um, anyways, my predictions would be that it would be revealed in season 2 that Otto didn't really arrive at the Bizu Garden place. And then everybody who hasn't read the manga would be sort of like confused as to what happened. Because obviously she was on his way to meet him by the end of this series. But I do feel like they're going to explore on that throughout. Like probably Otto is going to receive a call that Tenma got into some sort of like accident. Or again, he like the thugs who he went after for Konoe got back at him and so Otto had to rush to him even if literally she was on her way to meet Kagoragi so for season 2 we are gonna be met by cold Haruto where he had a cold look in his eyes everything's just changed and basically everyone who knows him is gonna be confused as well as to like why he suddenly turned into this whole new different person and that's probably where because throughout that they sort of like started developing the relationship as well because it sort of like became the starting point as to how Otto and Tenma finally worked out ending their engagement it just got delayed a couple of months mainly because Tenma needed to go to therapy he needed to um, be hospitalized and stuff like that because of the accident we ended this on a pleasant note coming from a manga reader's perspective because honestly I, I had angsty i was really like nervous for the ending because um i didn't know how they were going to end it on such a light note um so to me like that ending as much as frustrating as it is for most people it just made the most sense if they're going to make a season two out of this so yeah yeah those are my thoughts as usual <laughs> Please just share your sorekara angst, sorekara memes down in the comments below. Um, 
just let's talk it out in the comments as we usually do. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're new to my channel and you would want to hear more from me, please hit subscribe. Um, I'll probably be talking more about my thoughts, my predictions, and stuff like that in another video or probably talk about another J-drama in my new videos. So please, 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 please stay tuned for that. Um, thank you so much for watching this one. And yeah, I'll be seeing you again soon in a new video. Bye!